The Miami Dolphins are out of the playoffs but we can't point to the Titans game as the reason why. There are plenty of other reasons the Dolphins failed. When looking back on the 2021 season, there will be plenty of highlights that you can point at to say, yep, that's one of the reasons. The Dolphins simply threw this season away long before they faced the Titans on Sunday. They simply climbed back out of the hole they dug. The 1-7 start is glaring and as we have discussed several times today already, two or three of those games could have gone other ways. Looking back to 2020 and the 10-win season, you could pinpoint games that Miami won on last-minute kicks that helped them win those games, this year, they didn't get that bounce. Losing a game on a last-minute field goal or not getting a pass interference call that should have been called can lose a game but winning teams, consistently winning teams, don't need those breaks late in the game often. There were 50 minutes of play prior to those final 10 minutes. Looking back on the Dolphins' 2021 season, there is plenty to look at and question. Here are three reasons the Dolphins were likely to miss the postseason, before they lost to the Titans. Unneeded distraction. Say what you want but the Miami Dolphins flirting with Deshaun Watson had an impact on the team, on the field and probably off the field. Miami disastrous courting of a trade for Watson didn't last just a week or two, it lasted months. It started to swirl before the draft and then resurfaced again before the season started. The slow start only made the trade talk burn brighter. Miami lost seven games in a row and that only added fuel to the Watson fire. It didn't help to see Tua miss three games with broken ribs and more due to a broken finger. Those seven games were hard to overcome but the Dolphins managed to dig out of that hole. Why? We can't put a single finger on it but if we were to start, we could put on the NFL trade deadline. Miami was rumored to have a deal in place for a trade but at the last minute, that deal fell through. How close was that deal to taking place? We won't ever really know but we can say that once that all was put to rest, the next seven games were all wins. Is that a coincidence? Maybe, maybe not but one thing is certain, the Dolphins didn't need that horrible distraction. Nothing changed offensively, the Miami Dolphins defense made a big change in the way they played. An impromptu defensive meeting led to wholesale changes. Miami defense played much better and developed into a top NFL defensive unit. The same can't be said about the offense. In the Dolphins' first eight games of the year, the offense managed to produce 17, 0, 28, 17, 17, 20, 28, and 11 points. That isn't much and far from winning football. They lost all but the first game of the season. Starting in Week 9 against the Texans, the Dolphins' offense produced 17, 22, 24, 33, 20, 31, 20, and 3 points. While the Dolphins won all of those games, sans the last one, the best they could produce were two 30-point-plus games. In reality, little changed from the first eight games to the next eight games in terms of point production. Miami defense kept the Dolphins in games this year and it was set up to allow the offense to simply not make mistakes. Score just enough to win. It didn't quite work out. Miami lack of offensive vision, lack of a quality playbook, lack of offensive creativity set this team up to lose from the start. It all crashed back down to earth against the Titans. Three-headed disaster. It is easy to pick on the offense because the defense did enough to get the team in position to win but the offense was set up to fail long before the season ever started for the Miami Dolphins. Brian Flores wasn't able to make a decision on his offensive coordinator situation. He chose, wrongly, to go with two offensive coordinators and divide the duties between them. George Godsey and Eric Studsville proved early that it wasn't going to work. It wasn't for a lack of working together, they got along and there was never infighting but it was also apparent that there was no continuity in the offense from week to week, there were questions as to who was calling the plays, up to and including quarterback coach Charlie Fry who wasn't really qualified to be a coach in the NFL having offensive input. Will Flores rectify this problem in 2022? Probably not because he doesn't seem to willing to admit that he may have been wrong. He was. None of the three should be calling plays and while it is likely that at some point during the season the play calling duties may have gone to one person, the lack of scoring and initiative on offense was a big reason the Dolphins failed. 